So today I have the small coil for the first time with a Equinox 800. It's actually a brand new version after my old one flooded. Uh, I got this unit, the main unit, that cost me a little bit, uh, but uh, I figured it was worth it. Anyway, I'm at my very first stomping grounds, actually, right there, maybe a couple feet in front of the, my coil. I, I found my second ever silver quarter. Um, and, uh, well, there was a there isn't many Hytons here. There is uh, probably 99.5% have been removed by me. Well, and a couple others. I know I know a few of my friends who were here. Uh, I got a Hyton there, and I just remember that uh, I couldn't get to it the first time around. It's in between the roots. So I'll keep going. If there is anything else, uh, if there is anything interesting you know i did not dig all the mittens for sure so there should there could be some interesting ones that uh, i might try to dig and there is a small area with where i got only most modern modern coins that i might might look and just uh, basically testing the detector the new old 800 and this small coil all right i'll see you on the first reasonable find all right so i walked over my favorite spot where i got a lot of uh i got an 1864 indian head uh and a lot of 20s pennies uh 20s or 30s pennies uh unfortunately there was nothing there the machines kind of uh um getting a lot of interference i turned it down a notch uh just going over this little hill area that uh, produced couple couple finds before just trying to pick something better 1819 just off the surface oh, we may have a silver yeah nine to five earring i think it's an earring pretty cool all right there's probably a few more signals of this type around here. Awesome. Happy to get this. Yeah, nine to five earring. So I decided to, that was the hill right here that I was uh, looking at. I actually did get, uh, I did get couple tunis in a nickel. Uh, I'm in multi, so I shouldn't be picking up a lot of change. There's probably some still left here to go with 40. I think I went over with 40 once or twice, but not thoroughly. Anyway, we're we got four dollars and five cents, and uh, I just dug uh, the dirt is mixed up here. Some old, some new. This looks like an old compact, a little messed up. Oops. A little messed up, but uh, yeah, definitely an old compact. I don't know if I made that hole or it was there before. Either way, we'll see if it says anything. Probably not, probably just generic. All right, we'll continue on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, dug probably four or five pennies. This one was a little deeper. We got a weedy. 1942 probably. Awesome. Alright, I did get a penny close to the surface. Probably I skipped that signal before. It's 1967. Gonna dig some shallow stuff. See where we, what we can get. Alright, so not finding much i think i'm gonna finish up here uh i guess uh, small coal has its uses uh got 1819 now after not finding almost anything at all uh 
We got George the Six Penny. 1941. All right. Maybe I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes. If not, this is gonna be it. George the Six says goodbye. Okay, so I just washed out the finds from this short hand, uh, testing the small call and the new old replacement 800 Equinox. Got a little change. Tonys were ringing 1516, uh, quarter, cut quarter, quad nickel, and 99% uh, nickel quarter. What year is it? Still wet. 1969. So it was uh, close. Couple more years. I got the uh, American dime. Hard to tell the year, but you can tell it's clad. 2000, I think. Something. Uh, some kind of uh, talking chucky cheese or something. Let's see. From pin from funny funny money from funny money. I think I got those before. Uh, nothing too too old and. Uh, Oh, I'm zooming in for the compact. Unfortunately, it's not nothing, nothing written on it. Uh, maybe there was something. Let's zoom in here. We can see who made it. There was something here, but I don't think we can ID it. Okay, and I uh, got the. Uh, Zoom back out. This toy, probably 70s or 80s, made in France, Majorette. Um, and uh, three older pennies, 1967. I did get, uh, I think, five or five to seven, maybe, modern pennies. 19. 41, the oldest coin, I think, unless the weedy is older. Let's see what year is the weedy. 1940s to 1942, so about the same age. And the find of the shorthand, this uh, pen. I think it's missing a pen, so a brooch, missing a pen, stamp 9 to 5, or maybe a hairpin, possibly this was a hairpin. Uh, yeah, definitely was. there was a pen going right through here. Pretty cool, I think about 3.75 grams of silver, so it's good to have a little silver on the board. All right, so... I'm gonna use the uh, small call probably a little bit more often now that I now that I have it, and uh, there's few spots that uh, I'd be interested to see if it uh, if it can help me out, mostly in the bushy areas uh, and uh, in garbagey areas. So let's we'll see we'll see it in the future videos. All right. Until then. Take care and uh, have a great week.